Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to discuss Prisma versus Type ORM. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. Prisma and the Type ORM both object relational mapping libraries for the TypeScript and the JavaScript. And this serve similar purposes. However, they have different approaches and the features. Here's the comparison to help you decide which one might be better suited for your needs. Prisma. Type safety. <coughs> Prisma is known for the strong emphasis on the type safety and it generates TypeScript or the JavaScript code based on your database schema. It provides a type safety query builder, reducing the chances of the runtime errors. Automatic query generation. Prisma generates a query builder automatically based on your data models, making it easy to interact with the database. Migrations. Prisma has a built in support for the database migrations, simplify the process of evolving your database schema over time. Modern development, Prisma embraces modern development practices such as code generation and has more modern and intuitive API. GraphQL interaction, Prisma is commonly used in the GraphQL projects due to its type safe nature and the integration capabilities. Next, we have a type ORM, database support. So type ORM supports variety of databases including PostgreSQL, MySQL, MariaMDB, SQLite, MySQL and the others. Okay, flexibility type ORM provides flexibility in defining the complex relationships and allows for the custom queries and the raw SQL if needed. Active development type ORM is actively developed and has growing community. It is well maintained and they receive regular updates. Decorators and the annotations, right? Type ORM uses decorators for defining the entities, relationships, and other metadata, which can be a familiar and concise way of developers to work with. Node.js and the browser support. Type ORM can be used in both the Node.js and the browser environments, providing a versatility in the application development. Considerations. If type safety and the modern development practices are the priority, Prisma might be better fit. If you need the flexibility, support for the wide range of databases and comfortable with the decorators or the metadata, if you're comfortable, then you go with the type ORM. Could be the suitable choice. Both Prisma and the type ORM are popular choices and the decision between them often comes down to the personal preferences, project requirements and the specific features each ORM provides. It's recommended to try out both and consider factors such as type safety, database support and the development style that aligns best with the project. If I go and check the both communities, <coughs> NPM, type ORM, type ORM. If I go and just search here, you can see the number of downloads of it. It's 12, right? If I go over search with the Prisma, you will get to know about the how many downloads they have. They have 16. So you can match it out like the weekly downloads is 16 lakhs and here we have a 12 lakhs. According to it, you can decide and specific requirements do you have then according to that one, you can decide. Okay. Do you have any suggestions? You can also write them down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.